Your Craig Precision Router Table Insert Plate is designed and manufactured to provide a flat, stable, strong, and versatile platform for your router. Of course, none of that can happen until you actually mount your router to the plate. It's a straightforward process, but there are a few tips that'll help you. To mount your router, you'll use the holes that normally hold the router sub-base in place. Some router table insert plates come with a bunch of holes to try to accommodate every router out there. But at Craig, we think it makes a lot more sense to just carefully drill the mounting holes you need. And we make the process easy. You'll find complete instructions on the back of your insert plate package or in the manual that came with your Craig Precision Router Table. And here, we'll take you through the process step by step. The process is straightforward. First, you'll remove the sub-base from your router, put it on the plate, and use it as a guide as you drill the mounting holes. Then you'll mount the router to the plate. Sounds simple enough, and it is, but there are a few details you need to pay attention to to make sure that you do it right. The best way to start is to prep your sub-base so you can use it as a guide. Just place a couple of pieces of double-sided tape or some rolled up masking tape on the sub-base and then position it on your router so that all the holes are aligned. Now, turn the router so it's pretty squared up, like you think it would be in the router table, and make sure you have access to the power switch and all the adjustments. Next, grab the plate and bring it up so that you have the Craig logo facing toward you. And hold it in place and look to see if any of the mounting holes are gonna interfere with either the start pin hole or, if you have one, the hole for the height adjustment crank. And what you'll find is that you probably have to turn the plate just a little bit. Then you can press it in place lightly and you'll see that the router isn't gonna be straight. It's actually gonna be angled a little bit in the table, but there's still access to the switch and to the other controls. So now you can pull the base off with the sub base in approximate location and you're ready for the next step. The next step is to make sure that your router will be centered and you'll do that using the targeting pattern that's engraved in the underside of the plate. Just pull your sub base up, making sure not to rotate it, and position it so that you have an even gap by the nearest line on all four patterns. Once you're confident you have it in place, press it down and you'll be ready to drill the holes. If you have a drill press, use it because that's the best way to ensure straight perpendicular holes and be sure to select a drill bit that's sized to match the holes in the sub-base. Place a piece of scrap wood under the plate to reduce chipping as the drill bit passes through. If you're using a hand drill, make sure you hold it perpendicular to the plate as you drill. A small block of wood with a line drawn on it can help you do this. After drilling the holes, flip the plate over and countersink the mounting holes so that the screw heads will sit just slightly below the plate surface. All that's left now is to mount the router to the plate with screws. You won't use the sub base, but be sure to store it someplace convenient so you can find it when you want to use the router handheld. So all that's left to do now is to drop your plate into the table and you're ready to start routing. If you have any questions about setting up your precision router table insert plate, contact our customer service department through craigtool.com.